Hi guys Sportsia News Briefs. Lionel Messi gets new job. Harry Maguire can handle the criticism he has received. Hodgland, Garnico out of Man United's 25-man Premier League squad. Barcelona predicted lineup versus Real Betis, La Liga. Man United ace Eriksen. Conte didn't like me at number 10. Brazilian government watching investigation into West Ham's Paqueta, Real Betis winger Henrique. Now the news in detail. Lionel Messi gets new job. Lionel Messi suddenly found himself as Argentina's new assistant coach during the win over Bolivia on Tuesday evening. Messi sat out of the World Cup qualifier as a precaution. The Inter Miami forward was rested for the 3-0 win after complaining of being tired from the game before against Ecuador. Messi scored the only goal of the game and his free kick tied a South American qualifying record. In the build-up to the Bolivia fixture, Messi and his teammates were given oxygen canisters due to the extreme altitude. Estadio Hernando Siles, where the game was held, is 3,637 meters above sea level, one of the highest stadiums in the world. In any case, Messi was not named in the World Cup qualifying squad and would ordinarily have to watch from the stands. However, according to TNT Sports, the 36-year-old filled out a form to FIFA to say he was an assistant coach. The form was approved and Messi, in his new role, watched the game from the dugout alongside his teammates and coaches. Enzo Fernandez, Nicolas Tagliafico and Nicolas Gonzalez all scored as Argentina made it two wins from two in their qualifying group. Explaining his substation in the game prior, and giving a potential reason for missing the Bolivia win, Messi said, I was a little tired, so it happened that I went out and surely it won't be the last time I go out during matches. The news will come as some concern to Inter Miami fans with a crucial MLS game against Atlanta United on Saturday. Messi has had a transformative effect on Miami since joining, scoring 11 goals in 11 games and leading David Beckham's franchise to League's Cup glory. Miami are six points adrift of the MLS playoff places and will need a win against Atlanta if they stand any chance of making them. Manager, Gerardo, Tata, Martino, however, gave a positive update on Messi's chances of playing. It does not seem like anything important, some symptoms of fatigue, at least that's the information we have, we will know more today, Martino said of Messi. We know that on all squads this happens. There are players that play a lot more, others that play less that have to take advantage of these types of occasions but it's also not true that the game depends exclusively on these players who are going to play more now. Argentina's next games are against Paraguay and Peru on October 12th and October 17th. MLS playoffs, should Miami make them, start on October 25th. It means Messi will have a full week before the first game. He does, however, have the final of the US Open Cup first on September 27th. Harry Maguire can handle the criticism he has received. Harry Maguire has been in a gradual decline for years since joining Manchester United from Leicester City. This season he is no longer captain of Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag has handed his armband to Bruno Fernandes. The manager only gave him a few minutes of playing time in the Premier League match against Arsenal, which ended in a 3-1 victory for the Gunners. However, Gareth Southgate called him up to the England squad and in the last friendly against Scotland, he scored an own goal. The mistake put him back at the centre of criticism from thousands of fans, but he believes he can handle it. The British defender spoke to the British media on Reuters after the match and expressed his thoughts. Hodgland, Garnico out of Man United's 25-man Premier League squad. Manchester United announced on their social media and on their website their 25 registered players to compete in the 2023-24 Premier League. Six of the Red Devils' summer signings are present, including Mason Mount, Andre Onana, Altai Bayandir, Johnny Evans and loan signings Sofian Amrabat and Sergio Reguilon. Many Red Devils fans looking at the list have been asking themselves the same question. 
whereas the promising former Atalanta striker Rasmus Hodgland who joined Ten Hag's team this summer for a reported £72 million. Moreover, Alejandro Garnico, who has become a regular starter in the first team, is also not among those 25 players shortlisted by the Old Trafford outfit. Well, this choice of players consists only of those who are over 21 years of age. According to Premier League rules, those born on or after 1 January 2002 don't need to be registered and clubs are permitted to use as many under-21 players as they like during games. That is why both the Argentinian winger and the Danish striker do not appear in the 25-man squad. Hodgland is still just 20 years of age and therefore does not count towards the limit while Alejandro Garnico is also under the age threshold. Barcelona predicted lineup versus Real Betis, La Liga. As Barcelona's superstars return from their international excursions this weekend, they will have little time to rest ahead of the visit of Real Betis on Saturday evening. There has been plenty to smile about for Barcelona's internationals. Lamine Yamal became Spain's youngest a goalscorer and debutante, Frankie de Jong managed back-to-back -back wins with the Netherlands and the likes of Joao Felix, Robert Lewandowski and Rafinha were all on the scoresheet for their respective nations. The Blaugrana's jet-setters will be keen to keep the good times rolling when Betis visit Estadio Olympic Luis companies this weekend, with Barker boss Xavi hopeful of a fourth successive win for his side. Man United ace Eriksen. Conte didn't like me at number 10. Manchester United midfielder Christian Eriksen says it was Antonio Conte who transformed his positional game. Conte and Eriksen won the Scudetto together at Inter Milan, with the Dane playing in a deeper role compared to his past with Tottenham. He told Viaplay, It has come naturally. It started when I moved to Italy, where Conte down there didn't like me as much as a 10, so I was pushed back a bit further. In the end it became my position and I have enjoyed it. Brazilian government watching investigation into West Ham's Paqueta, Real Betis winger Henrique. Brazilian government Senator Jorge Cajuru says they're waiting on news of the betting investigation into West Ham midfielder Lucas Paqueta. Real Betis winger Luis Henrique is also being investigated. Cajuru said, the English and Spanish federations have opened an investigation against them. Now we have to wait and see whether there will be punishment or not. If positive, the confederations will be able to request a territorial extension of the sanction and FIFA will be able to extend it worldwide. I sincerely hope that Brazil, the country with the most footballers in the world, does not also become known as an exporter of illegality in the field of sports betting. It would be a pity. For more sports updates please do visit our Twitter handle or YouTube channel Sportsia.